some of y'all have know about the Prater Homes. You go to the Prater Homes every year and wouldn't miss it. Uh, some of y'all may have heard of it, but you don't know the details and maybe you've gone before, but you don't know exactly what's going on this year. So we've got some information for y'all too. And then some of you have never heard of the Prater Homes. So, uh, so stick around. We've, we've got some information from you for you. And we've got, um, you know, we're going to go through the who, what, when, where, but we're also going to talk about too, there's some notes, you know, obviously with COVID, you know, how is it going to work this, this year? So they are still having it. That's the big news. And then I'll tell you about some, some details later. Uh, let's switch over to, we're going to go over to the uh, Pray to Homes website to just kind of dive in to some of the who, what, when, where. And let me pop over here. Here we go. So, you know, what the parade is basically, it's, it's, it's um, done by the Home Builders Association. It is, that's kind of your who, and um, it's the local, it's the Wake County Home Builders Association. You'll hear it referred to as Triangle Parade. Uh, so you'll hear both of those terms. And uh, it's also in conjunction with the Durham, Orange, Chatham County uh, Home Builders Association too. So it's really the greater triangle area and you can see right here is 219 homes this year, 142 communities, 113 builders. So basically, um, let's zoom out for a second. Basically, you can roll up to these homes. They're going to have them open for you. We'll talk about the hours and the days that they're open. And basically, you know, you can go in these homes and, uh, you know, they'll be clearly marked when you pull up. There's usually big um, an extra sign in addition to the real estate normal sign. There's a big white parade home sign. There's going to be balloons. They'll have it unlocked for you. You just kind of roll up in there like you own the joint <laughs> and you're a rock star. They're rolling out the red carpet for you. They're usually staged as well. So, um, you know, so it's, it's a really cool opportunity to make it easy for you to see those. And we'll talk about you know, the, um, the kind of the COVID adjustments this year, and you've got the opportunity to see some stuff online. And, uh, you know, if you, if you don't, if you're not comfortable with one out there and there's some homes that are not available to go in live too. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, so we talked about the who, we talked about the, uh, the what, uh, we've talked a little bit about the where, as far as, you know, the greater triangle area. And, um, We've got some information on COVID right there that we'll come back to in a second. And here is your win. So it starts today. That's one of the reasons that I'm bringing this to you now is it starts today at 12 noon. So in just a little over an hour, um, September 26, and it goes through the next three weekends. So one thing to note, though, is today it's starting on Saturday. And then for next weekend, for the second weekend and the third weekend, it's basically going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you've got an extra day uh, on those weekends. Uh, what they do is they do the judging. I think that happened just in the past couple of days, and then they started on a Saturday. So if you're watching this and it's not 2020, um, know that they normally hold it about this time of year. And, um, you know, just... Just check the website or contact me for the uh and we'll do some future videos for the dates on for next in the years following too but it's always about the same time of year it's an annual thing i don't even know how long they've been doing it it seems like forever ever since i started in real estate which was 97 they were doing it um and i don't know the full history before that i should ask them that <laughs> so um Let's go through, uh, you've got the view homes. That's really the big part of this. So we're going to click on view homes and kind of take you through. And, um, and we'll, we'll make some notes as far as, uh, you know, kind of how it works this year. So when you come up to this first page, there's some filters over here on the left side. So you can see this also shows you the, some of the cities that they cover. It took a second for this map to come in, but that's it's going to populate everything that's on the tour. So you can just start looking. Um, there's a couple from Garmin Homes. Shout out to Garmin Homes. Um, hey, way to, uh, I don't know what you did, but you got your stuff coming up right in the front up top. So, uh, so good job for you guys. Uh, they build a really cool home too. So uh, they've got a funky style and uh, we're, we're checking out Garmin Homes. 
Um, looks like these are in, uh, there's one in Pittsburgh, it's probably in Briar Chapel, and then Wendell is probably going to be over in uh, Wendell Falls. But we can click on these to find out more information. So let's go ahead and just click on this one here in Pittsburgh and uh, just to see what it's like. So they've got multiple photos that they've loaded in here, and some of those are of the floor plan. And then, of course, you can, you know, click on those. You can scroll through um, and, and see everything there. And then you've got the details down here, um, you know, about the house. And you've got the map. You can click on this and, uh, you know, of course, have your interactive component with Google Maps. So that's really cool. And back over here, let's go back a step, uh, back to the filters. It's cool. I really like that they've got, you know, uh, staged home. Because I know a lot of y'all will go to the, to the tour to get staging ideas. And that's okay. So basically, if you, if you want to go on the tour and just look for, for ideas, decorating ideas, and maybe you're thinking about updating too. And by the way, if y'all are updating your home, here's a pro tip for you. Um, the Home Builders Association also has a remodelers council. So um, if you're looking for contractors, that is a great place to go to, you know, if they're a member of the association. And then one of the things, here's a pro tip for you. One of the things I like to do too, you can click through and find out who volunteers for some of their uh, leadership roles. And, uh, you know, that might be an indication of that that's somebody that um, is really involved and cares about the industry. So, um, and the Homer Association doesn't mind, I think, I think the spirit of it is if you want to go out and look for decorating ideas, maybe you're decorating your home today, but you, you might be thinking about buying, maybe you're, um, maybe it's like that TV show, Love It or List It, where you're thinking about decorating, but, you know, maybe you get out and see some houses and you fall in love with a house or a builder or a neighborhood. And even if you don't buy until a year or two down the road, then, you know, the, the Prado Homes has it, it served its purpose. You know, basically they're marketing to you. They're giving you the opportunity to come out and see those homes and they're, they're putting a huge effort to get them nice and pretty for you and in hopes that you'll come and fall in love with them. So that, you know, that's basically what it's about. Let's go back over to the, uh, over to the website. We can show you more of that. So that's kind of what the stage home gets you if you're looking uh, for decorating ideas, but you can make all these kind of adjustments and you can search by community and look at all of those in there. So let's just do an example. Let's look at Raleigh. You can see that it will populate there. And if we scroll through, this is what I want to show you. Um, look at this one right here. You see in the white letters, it's got virtual tour only. And um, so that's that's kind of the, um, you know, the COVID adjustment. And I think this is the one, pretty sure. Let me click this one saw this one when i was looking through. yeah <laughs> you got to see this kitchen this is the fun part of the parade right here look at that look at the way those lights integrate with the uh, wood style and then it comes right in and is integrated into and i know y'all can't see my mouse but i'm mousing over the um you know the uh, right above the stove the range hood basically um i love how the backsplash the colors brown just kind of ties in all together and then you've got this um kind of l-shaped bar i mean it's so cool that's uh that's the fun part of looking through this and i know you can't go to see this one live but um one of the silver linings with covid is that more of this stuff is going online so if you do want to look at it from your home then you know, you can do that. There's a ton of pictures here. Um, and I love this. You can just scroll through. Here's the, uh, here's the living room. Oh, and then look, um, let me see if I can back up here too. I love this wall that's over here. You can kind of see it in that photo over to the right here. Um, isn't that cool? And look at that door too. Um, it's just, it's just, just so much fun to look at these homes. So, even if you can't get out to see those, you can see some of those features. Now, let me go back over here. So you've got virtual tour only, virtual tour on some of those. And uh, this is interesting. This is actually the first one I've seen of this. It says sold, not available for viewing. Usually, 
um, if it's sold, what I, I think has happened in the past, I know there's one in our neighborhood that's like this too, that's on my street. Um, usually, and maybe it depends on when it's sold, um, you know, whether it was a pre-sale or not, or that kind of thing. But when they, when the builder usually enters that con enters into the contract with the buyer, they're going to, um, they're going to say, Hey, this is a parade home. We've already committed as a parade entry and it's a huge commitment. And, um, and, you know, closing date has to be set for after the parade, the home will still be on the parade. And usually that's the arrangement as I understand it. But like this one has got, um, not available for view and that it's sold. So I guess that's, there is another way to do it. <laughs> um, and usually you don't see this either, not complete, not available for viewing. So um, usually there's a huge push for the builders to have their homes ready. And even there's some last minute, I've heard stories of, um, you know, some of the builders, um, helpers or team members and stagers, you know, being in, you know, pulling overnight shifts to meet the deadline to go on for, uh, Ray. Um, here's the other thing that you'll see is by appointment only. Um, so if you click through here, they're going to have contact information on there too. And I wanted to bring you another uh, kind of pro tip today too, is if um, when you're out looking at new construction in general, um, they're going to have usually a builder rep or real estate agent in there. Now, sometimes I've done some kind of work where it's relief agent work for builders where if they need to bring a general brokerage agent in to handle some of the overflow or somebody needs a day off or, you know, especially during the prey, you know, that they might use uh, relief agents too. So there's sometimes there's an opportunity for that agent to, um, y'all can entertain a buyer agency relationship. But most of the time when you walk in, um, it's gonna, they're gonna represent the seller. And, um, you know, if they work directly for the builder, um, is usually the scenario or they have an arrangement where they are the listing agent for the, for the builder. And then, um, you know, it just depends on what uh, the nature of that arrangement or whether they offer a dual agency, whether you're comfortable with dual agency or not. But so if you want to see one of these homes, you can click through and get contact information, um, you know, but, you know, contact a buyer's agent. And uh, if you don't have one, let me know. And, uh, you know, we'll talk about whether they're a good match. So let's take a look at some more in here. Um, I think that gives us a flavor of, you know, how many are available to go see or not. Um, if you just kind of scroll through right there. So there are a significant number this year that are virtual tour only. Um, I haven't studied one part of it. You know, I suspect that maybe some of the more higher priced homes that people are out just, you know, a lot of times just looky looing at that, um, you know, my guess would be a higher percentage of those would be the virtual tour versus um, some of the ones in the lower price range that are actually available for sale. Um, now, right now we are experiencing low inventory, so uh, it's not too surprising that, you know, some of these are already sold. Um, it is a strong seller's market right now. So um, let's go back. Um, now we're on the website. Um, I do have, um, I think, a way to show you the, uh, they do have an app. And uh, let's see if we can, uh, see if I can show you this. Okay. So this was, um, I'm not clicking through live. This is a recording I made earlier just to kind of show you this. This is, there's an app and I'm, a, I'm on an iPhone. So this was an Apple store. If you look for that, I don't know if you caught, you can see that logo at the top up there, the white and red logo. Uh, there's a bunch of pray to home apps in the, in the store. So if you just look for pray to homes, you're going to come up with a lot of matches. Um, I found that if you put um, triangle parade, it does come up, but it's actually listed as Wake County pray to homes. So you can put Wake or you can put Wake County Pray to Homes in the uh, in the Apple Store search and come up with that. And so this is you can kind of just see scrolling through. It's very similar to the uh, to the website as far as as what you can do in there. But that's that's a cool feature too. I also want to um, show you real quick. Uh, let's go back over to the uh, website. Um, if you click through. And I'm just, you see that add to my homes button. I think it changes. I know you can't see my mouse, but if it changes colors right there, it's red. 
And if we add that to the tour, I'll just add the one next to it. It'll only let you add the ones that are actually available to tour. So that's a cool feature if it's not available, you know, if it's virtual tour only or whatnot. And then I'm going to go up here to the top. And uh, there it goes. I think it kind of pops up for you. My tour. So you can basically build a tour. And then boom, it's right there. All the ones that you've added. I think I added one before we started this too, just to test it. And um, you can put your starting address, you know, like your home or maybe you're out running errands. You want to start from a particular business or something. And then you can go to um, build my tour map and then click on, uh, I'm going to click on link to map or you can copy the link, either one. And then boom, there we go. You've got a tour. How cool is that? All right, let me back up here. All right, switch over here. I'm going to go back. I'm clicking on the Pray to Homes at the top to take me back to the home screen. And I wanted to go back to the uh, to the COVID uh, processes here so we can just uh, touch on that real quick. Because obviously that's a big part of what's going on in our world right now. And uh, I'll, you know, some of these are going to be obvious. Um, if you're potentially sick, you know, stay at home. And I think really the thing there too is, uh, as I've heard stories about people having COVID, you have these symptoms that you don't know at first, you know, if it's COVID or not, but, you know, play it safe. At least that's my opinion. Um, check on the status of the home on the website. So, um, you know, don't just run out there and figure out it's, it's, um, you can't get in. Of course, maybe you want to drive by or see the neighborhood. And in that case, it's cool. Maintain social distance. Um, do not touch. So the best you can, as far as unless you need to go through a door or something, you know, just um, try not to touch the services and uh, bring your own PPE. Um, and then don't, you know, don't hang out there. Don't camp out. <laughs> Let other people in. Um, shorten your home visits. Um, and then, you know, bring your own hand sanitizer. I mean, I feel like most people just keep it in the car. So that way, you know, as you go in each home, you can, um, you can take part in it. And they don't have it right here, but um, hmm. I know, I know I saw it. I don't see it now, which is interesting. They are, um, and I, I know one place I saw it, there's one on my street and I was looking at the sign, which has all of this stuff on it. There's an extra sign in, in the in the front of the yard. And it says there's a maximum of 25 people in the house. I don't know how they're going to regulate that. Hopefully, usually there's one host, like a realtor, um, sometime with busy neighborhoods that they'll actually uh, bring in help from uh, different civic organizations uh, to, to come in and help them. And, you know, maybe they'll have one of these clickers and they'll they'll figure out. I know I've been in stores where they've had the person out there and it was, uh, you know, once they're maxed out, it was one out, one in kind of kind of thing. So I know I saw that. <laughs> I was going to show it to you here. But uh, I believe that's a thing is only 25 max in the house, which I think, you know, sinks in with the uh, with the uh, state guidelines. So. Um, cool. And uh, I see uh, Bobby McGrath is over there tuning in. Hey, Bobby. She's a, uh, she's a great stager and author and speaker uh, on staging in our area. And um, it wouldn't surprise me if, um, you know, uh, she's probably staged some of these homes. Bob, if you're still tuning in, let me know if you've, uh, if you've staged any and, uh, and where you are. Let me click back over here so you don't have the multiple screens. Um, and... Uh, so thank y'all for tuning in. I think that's everything that I know about the parade for this year. Hopefully y'all have fun out there touring homes. If But we'll, I'll be monitoring the, uh, the comments. So if you have any questions, if you're viewing this after it's archived, let me know and I will answer them. Thanks and y'all have a great weekend.